do you discuss about sex with your husband? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't discuss about sex, you will have an expectation that he's not able to meet, and then you go out, outside mm -hmm. looking for it, mm -hmm. and you know very well, anytime yeah. you go out, you have already defiled mm -hmm. the marriage bed, mm -hmm. according to Hebrews 13 verse yeah. 4. That marriage bed, marriage must be honorable, mm -hmm. and the marriage bed must be kept undefiled, mm. for God will judge the fornicators and the adulterers. Mm -hmm. So anytime you go outside because you expected your husband to take you four gazins, nasasa naenda kamoja, and you would have just spoken and let him understand your body mm. and make sure that he also achieves the same. Mm. At the end of the day, you find yourself you have distress. Sex has really made mm -hmm. an, ex an, an, an unrealistic expectations mm -hmm. like we were talking about in the previous episodes. You want a husband with a big penis. Mm -hmm. Who told you a big penis? Penis is what is, is what you need. Yes. You want a wife who has figure eight. Uh -huh. How many people have figure eight, but they have no morality? Yes. You get that, but they don't have even the heart of a yeah. wife. They don't have a heart of a of, of a mother. Mm. They are just there. When mm. a husband has a mentality that he wants the wife to have boys, attacking ah, girls. Right. You get that. Yes. Not knowing. You as the man, you are the one who determines whether your wife gets a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. So you keep on, uh, you know, insulting your wife, abusing your wife mm. because you wanted her to get boys uh -huh. and now she's getting girls. Uh -huh. But I want to t tell you, mm -hmm. there is a reason why God gives you the kind of children that you have. Mm. Whether you have girls alone or boys alone, mm. the purpose of God over those children mm. will still come to pass because mm. much more as medically we mm. are told there are times we can have sex with our wives mm. and have and have this gender mm. uh, sometimes people try that and you still find you are still getting girls or you are still getting boys mm. and so at the end of the day that does not mean that the problem is in your wife that's mm. unrealistic you know expectation, expectation because there are people who are just praying to have a child mm -hmm. even if it's a disabled child mm -hmm. who belongs to them you mm -hmm. god has given you no more children but you wow. want to keep on making this like a a, a big deal mm -hmm. something that will make you never to enjoy your marriage just because mm -hmm. you feel you feel that uh, you should have gotten boys like your brother mm -hmm. like your sister mm -hmm. chasing these it. things mm. and postponing your happiness yes. until the day yes. you will die. <laughs> but I'm just saying when you have that peace of God in you, the joy of the Lord has become your strength mm. and you are in that contentment, you are always a grateful person. Mm. When something is added, you say thank you. Mm. This one is added, you also say thank you. The so anything space. comes as a blessing. But when it becomes as a demand to enlarge your territories to get more demand, then you'll never be satisfied. I, I really want to concur with what you are saying about the expectation. And also there's another dimension about expectation, whereby you find that uh, some, some people have got uh, what we call unrealistic expectation. expectation. Mm. Very unrealistic. You get it, eh? Najua muke wangu ni mufupi. Yet I always complain I wanted to marry a Thor already. Surely. What should she do? <laughs> What, what, what do you want her to do? Yes. Nani wewe uliyedo ukamuchukua kwao, mm -hmm. akiwa na hiyo size alikuwa nayo, mm -hmm. na ukamukubali, now five years down the line, she's too short. Mm -hmm. For you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are now always saying me, I never wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm short again for this. A short lady <laughs> like you. And you know shortness does not mean that her vagina is also short. <laughs> <laughs> they do not satisfy you. So shortness has nothing to do with the physiological. It, it doesn't have to do it, with, it that, doesn't do that. with the sex. Whether, uh, whether you are short or not, you can still perform. Yeah. It's still you the are same. A man or a woman. Yes. yes. So that's, that's an unrealistic. I just wanted to back you. That's an unrealistic expectation. You know, expectation. You know others keep mm. on complaining. Mm. You know, where are you going to go? I'm going to go to the Munono. Munono. I mean. <laughs> I mean, what does that has to do with a happy, you know, no, prosperous not. marriage? It doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Your size, your height, mm -hmm. your shape, your shape, your mm -hmm. color. What, what does it have to do color. with a good family, with it a good it. marriage? Mm -hmm. No, that's what I call mm -hmm. an realistic expectation. Expectation. Exactly. Also, another thing I would also add yeah. is when mm -hmm. a husband has a mentality that he wants the wife to have boys. Attacking ah, girls. Right. You get that. Yes. Not knowing 
you as the man, you are the one who determines whether your wife gets a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. So you keep on, uh, you know, insulting your wife, abusing your wife mm. because you wanted her to get boys uh -huh. and now she's getting girls. Uh -huh. But I want to t tell you, mm -hmm. there is a reason why God gives you the kind of children that you have. Mm -hmm. Whether you have girls alone or boys alone, mm -hmm. the purpose of God over those children mm -hmm. will still come to pass because mm -hmm. much more as medically we mm -hmm. are told there are times we can have sex with our wives mm -hmm. and, have, and have this gender. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes people try that and you still find you are still getting girls or you are still getting boys. Mm. And so at the end of the day, that does not mean that the problem is in your wife. That's mm. unrealistic, you know, expectation, expectation. Because there are people who are just praying to have a child, mm -hmm. even if it's a disabled child mm -hmm. who belongs to them. Mm -hmm. You, God, has given you no more children. But you wow. want to keep on making this like a, a, a big deal, mm -hmm. something that will make you never to enjoy your marriage just because mm -hmm. you, feel, you feel that uh, you should have gotten boys like you are brother mm -hmm. like your sister mm -hmm. so there's, there's wow. a lot of an unrealistic yeah. expectations yeah. and that has really brought a lot of commotion in marriages mm -hmm. and in relationship mm -hmm. and especially so when you verbalize them when you speak them forth to your partner mm -hmm. something that they are not able to do you know like i demand that pastor monene has has to build me a house in dubai if, he, if, 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 for example, he has not built in Kenya, uh -huh. what makes me feel that he can build outside the country? Yeah. So there are things yes. that are not that you know. You are a fikia kolo muri kuwa munalala na e munalala na e munasoma na e amejenga Dubai. You so can, marriages cannot be. That is, exactly. that is a, an unrealistic, mm. you know, expectation, and mm. so. Uh, and, and so that's something that I've realized it mm. is really affecting uh, families mm. because of that. Expectation is something that we need to eliminate mm. and deal with the, the reality. The reality. The reality of things. Mm -hmm. That right now we have money. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do? What is the priority mm -hmm. of this family? Right now we do not have money. What can we do? Mm -hmm. that, peri that priority is very important. And being real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now we may not be able to go for a holiday mm -hmm. because there's this loan that we want to clear or this school fees that we want to pay mm -hmm. or this, uh, uh, you know, this this loan that we have had mm. there must and communication as we are speaking mm. all these things mm. are actually uh, dealt with by communication mm. the minute you communicate you are able to see from your partner's perspective mm. i think the challenge we have with communication it is when you are communicating to me mm -hmm. and i'm not able to see the way you are seeing it mm. i think that is the cause of conflict yeah. mm -hmm. Perception. Yeah, perception. Mm -hmm. Pastor Monone is communicating to me a very serious thing. Wow. But I have this rigid mind. Mm -hmm. Even I'm not giving him time, first of all, to talk. Mm -hmm. uh, you see? Mm -hmm. Why? Because already have formed a perspective. Mm -hmm. You get the point. Eh? Mm -hmm. And this perspective now is driving me mm -hmm. to have now this kind of a behavior, this kind of an action. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things we need to learn as couples mm -hmm. is when your partner speaks, and, and this can be learned by anybody, whether you are 40 years married, mm -hmm. whether you are 5 years married, or you are 60 years married, mm -hmm. it's something that everyone needs to, to understand. When your partner is speaking, mm -hmm. Learn to, to learn to understand mm. what what is that in their mind? What wow. picture? What what image is in their mind at that particular time? Because mm. if you can see with the same lens, mm. you are likely to, to agree very fast. Yeah. But if I'm looking with a with a with a blue with if he's looking with mm. a blue lens, yes. lens, and me I'm putting a pink lens. Uh -huh. I tell you, we'll see things very differently. Mm -hmm. And that comes only with the selfishness because mm -hmm. we haven't been taught mm -hmm. the, the skill, the art of listening mm -hmm. and communication. Mm -hmm. And listening is very effective. Mm -hmm. And it is believed that in marriage, if you're going to listen to your, to your wife, mm -hmm. to your husband very well, learn to use the right ear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the not right. the left ear. Yeah. The right wow. ear is able to listen mm -hmm. to emotions, is able to listen to logic, it's able to listen to unspoken needs, mm -hmm. wow. three things, wow. yeah, mm -hmm. and you recline the right ear, it's very important, when you listen with the left, you don't really get things, but when you <laughs> listen to, with the right, it's able, it, it, it has been proven scientifically, you're able wow. to understand so many things, oh, yeah, someone tells you nisawa, but you feel no, you're sour, see sour, mm. this means wow. danger, mm. Uh -huh. You get the point, eh? Mm. So these are the things that we need to learn mm. from one another so that we can effectively live a life that is real. Mm. And I think that is one of the greatest causes of whatever. Another thing is understanding the roles of a husband mm. and a wife. I keep telling the, the, the men that it is true, it has been believed, it has been framed that men are providers. Mm. But suppose 
I'm the one who is who is financially stable at this particular season. Mm. What what can my husband do? Mm -hmm. yeah. What my husband should do, he should use this opportunity that God has given me to be to be financially stable, mm. to stabilize himself financially, mm. and vice versa. Mm. Men who are there and you have a good job, you are wow. earning good money, stabilize your wife financially. Mm. So that peradventure, if your business goes wrong or your mm. job goes wrong, your wife can stand in. Mm -hmm. But this idea of uh, of one person who is so much empowered and the other person is not empowered financially mm. when 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 something strikes that shakes your finances mm. because of the expectation that i have ab above my husband mm. that he should provide he should pay school fees he should do this and right now he's not mm. i'll look for another man who can come and play in wow. and do those roles but at the end of the day mm. we are not actually we are not actually solving mm. we are actually you know making things worse mm. and i think that's the problem that has been with so many with so many people mm. i think that's something that we need to be very very realistic about mm. and understand that it doesn't matter mm. what your partner has uh, is the level that your partner is mm. you can both live to one another mm -hmm. depending with the situation in your marriage at that particular time mm. so that's one of the things i found that has brought a lot of uh, commotion mm. because i still expect him to play wow. his role even when he's not able to do that mm -hmm. oh yes you've said something that i would like to highlight mm. about uh, an impossible expectation mm -hmm. of a man you want your wife to have girls mm -hmm. or boys mm -hmm. mostly even that they want boys mm -hmm. and uh, I found that this thing is only common with people who are poor I can say let me use the word poor mm -hmm. because you find that we have people like Obama who has only two girls ah, and it's very common with this, with this family Clinton had only one daughter. One uh -huh. daughter. Mm. Wow. Look at Dangote. Mm. Has only three daughters. Mm -hmm. No son. Mm. And they're they building empires. Yeah. But you in the village, you are stressing your wife with the sex every night. You are looking for children. You are looking for a heia. Heia to inherit hot air. There's nothing that you have. <laughs> You are just saying that Nataka Murivi. You have no land, you have no job, you have, but you are saying that you're looking for an inheritance. I want to give a story of someone who I know very clearly. When he when he married, he had a son. Yes. And then he got again another son. Mm -hmm. Then he said, No, I want a girl. Mm -hmm. He began stressing the wife, I want a girl. You cannot be giving me boys. I also want a girl who I can bond with. I want my mother. He went outside, he got another boy again. He was so frustrated. So he, he was not very serious with these boys. He wanted a, a, a girl child. Mm. Then one day, these two boys died the same day. Oh my goodness. The, it's a boys, real story. the boys died. It's a real story. Oh. And then, after that, a girl was born. Again, another girl was born. It is a real story. And now he's worried he doesn't have a hair. Another time, again, another girl again came. He went out, again a girl came. Now there is no boy. So they have th he has three biological, okay, legitimate girls mm. and one illegitimate boy girl. from outside. Oh, and what? one illegitimate mm. boy. boy from out. Yes, yeah, so ah. you find that you are complaining of this child who has come, yet there's a couple somewhere who, know, who, who, who as you said, they just want even a crippled child. Mm. As long as there is their own child, mm. they are wishing to have just a baby in their marriage. Yeah. They just wish to have that cry of a child in their house. They have never had. Mm. But you are saying, ah, wasn't the letter Mustana, wasn't the Liam Vulana. Mm. And we see these things, when you live that ungrateful for life like that, mm. God says, takes okay, away. takes mm -hmm. away and then God gives somebody else who needs. Yeah. So I think we should be very realistic. Mm. When you are in a marriage and you've, your wife has given you daughters, thank God, be proud of those girls. But mm. they have seen even best actors like Sylvester Stallone, Just Rambo. He's very proud with these two girls. Always going every day is the daughters, daughters. Mm. And these wazungus, when they just have first girl, second girl, they stop there. Mm. They are content. But as Africans, we are saying no. You find someone who has like six girls, mm. he's looking for a boy. Mm. So every year you are making your wife pregnant, mm. looking for a boy. a boy. Then at the end of the day, we are having women who are doing so well in this society, we are having men who, uh, fathers who are saying that if come a singer, they are having daughters who are 10 times better than their sons. Some sons have gone in drunkenness and drugs. Mm. 
these men are kept by their daughters. Mm. So you can never uh, just uh, qualify a person mm. because of their gender. I think that is yeah. so wrong. Darling, whatever you've said is very powerful, by mm. the way, mm. uh, based that it is something that happened close nearby. Mm. So I think uh, I'll just want to add what um, one of the marriage ministers said mm. in his in her podcast, Alisema, mm. ungrateful people are not bad, they are mm. wicked. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are not bad. They are not bad. They are wicked. Yani, that's the word that you can use mm. for ungrateful person. Mm. Yeah, and many people are, are 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 creating expectations because of ungratefulness and ego. Mm. For example, mm. uh, sorry to use people who drink in bars. Mm. They come home, they expect their wives to be like those women in bars, mm-hmm. dress like those women in bars, mm. be smart like those women in bars. And this is a woman who has labored with you, has mm. had you kids, is trying to take care of the home she cannot look well kept the way anytime you come from the house mm. find her organized the way you find there now when you are served food you, maybe she just comes and put food there and maybe at the hotel the, the waiter is very very kind and mm. uh, courtesy say. yeah mm. with courtesy you expect a haughty wife that looks like the person you saw on the camera mm. or on the, at the club or you are you are friends wife or girlfriend, mm-hmm. then you come and pile up pressure to this poor person, mm-hmm. poor dear girl, <laughs> poor lady. Mm-hmm. Actually, you have to look like you whose wife, you have to look like you. You see? So those ones are unrealistic and same to ladies. You've seen somebody online, they are spoiling their girl. Maybe this person is a business person. This is their thriving season of their marriage. And you want to compare just to your beginning marriage. You are or they're writing their loan. They're writing their loan. Mm. You never know how everything, the whole, don't have the whole story. Mm-hmm. So you are going to pile up pressure on this poor guy. Why are you not doing this? Why, I mean, in fact, some of them don't even speak it. Yeah. Actions too, now not you are sulking, you are throwing tantrums. Mm. So I think we should be grateful for whatever we have. Mm have some expectations for yourself and what you are contributing and then the rest it will just spill over wow i think um i agree with you totally whatever you are saying and uh one thing that i can say today is that uh anytime you don't manage your expectation it will end up destroying you and destroying your family yeah. mm-hmm. Now that's the bad side about mm. expectation. When you don't manage, when you don't control, when you don't do what you're supposed to do, it will end up destroying you. Yeah. Because by the end of the day, Utasema, who you honeyfy, let me go and look for another lady who I think is better than my wife. Mm. You end up saying, let me leave you alone and mm. go out of the country to look for money because money is not enough around. Mm. And so what will happen when you go out of the country? Mm-hmm. You will just go and forget about the first family. So either family you can't get a family, you can't get a family, you hook up with somebody else who also left their family. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because of not managing mm. expectations. expectations. Mm-hmm. So I think this lesson today is teaching us mm. you know seasons come and go yeah. mm-hmm. don't allow your marriage to be a marriage of season mm-hmm. you know the, the uh, christmas will come and go valentine will come and go yeah. easter comes and go mm. don't destroy your good relationship because of a season of one day two days mm-hmm. it will come and go well, but remember your wife and your husband mm-hmm. they will always be there for you yeah. wow. wow yeah i think i would also say that mm. when it comes to expectation it is important for us to understand that people should get the best out of you mm. is your husband your wife and your children mm. before even you can go to give your best outside there make mm. sure that they get the best out of you but it's unfortunate yeah. that we have a very big name outside here mm. but our very own people who are your your spouse and your children they have a very negative attitude towards you mm. i think yeah. that's something that 
an expectation that we have had for a very long time and it's actually a wrong expectation mm. whereby you're very good outside there but in your very old home mm -hmm. you're not able to exercise the same the same kindness the mm. same love the same patience because you 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 want to have a big name there but mm. in your own very home mm. you are not a good example yeah. i think it's all about communication the problem is communication and also it also shows that your foundation is so much on the physical things mm. because you know one of the things that the word of god does the bible says the word of god is settled in heaven mm -hmm. so when the word mm. of god is settled in heaven what mm. it does when it comes down like the rain mm. it also settles you mm. so when you find your your marriage Yumba yumba, mm. It is a sign that the word of God has not settled you. Because yeah. the word of God, just like mm. it is settled in heaven, mm. it should also settle you here on earth. Wow. And so these expectations that you have, you find that they are not in alignment. Mm. They are not aligned to God's will. It's mm. more selfish. It's more for showing off. I want to have a big car. I want to have a good home. I want to have, mm. you know, to go for holiday. Not for anything else. Kuonyesha watu nilipata pesa. It's about, it, actually, in the it's intention, is about people you want people to mm. to clap hands to tell mm. you now you are rich you are known but at the end of the day mm -hmm. the reality is between the two of you you mm. are the people who know the truth yeah. mm -hmm. and you see in marriage you can't fake if there is an institution you can't fake mm. it is marriage if exactly. it is not working it is not working yeah. Yeah. and if it is working it is working mm -hmm. and you can't know this until you are in marriage mm. you can fake everything else yeah you can fake to be okay with your dad and your mm. mom and your sisters and you know very well you have a lot of strife and rivalry mm. but in marriage it is not so mm -hmm. and so in marriage you have to deal with reality mm -hmm. and this reality must be weighed mm -hmm. is it is it is it born out of selfish ambition mm -hmm. or is it born because it is a generational thing yeah. so you find most of the things that we do we do for others not for ourselves mm -hmm. and that's why we have we are we are so much frustrated in our marriages mm -hmm. so my 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 answer will be and especially also what saranu had also said yeah. even about sex do you discuss about sex with your wife? Mm -hmm. Do you discuss about sex with your husband? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't discuss about sex, you will have an expectation that he's not able to meet, and then you go out, outside mm -hmm. looking for it, mm -hmm. and you know very well, anytime yeah. you go out, you have already defiled mm -hmm. the marriage bed, mm -hmm. according to Hebrews 13 verse yeah. 4. That marriage bed, marriage must be honorable, mm -hmm. and the marriage bed must be kept undefiled, mm -hmm. for God will judge the fornicators and the adulterers. Mm -hmm. So anytime you go outside because you expected your husband to take you four gazins, nasasa naenda kamoja, and you would have just spoken and let him understand your body mm -hmm. and make sure that he also achieves the same. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you find yourself you have distress. Sex has really made mm -hmm. an, ex an, an, an unrealistic expectations mm -hmm. like we were talking about in the previous episodes. You want a husband with a big penis. Mm -hmm. Who told you a big penis? Is what is, is, is what you need. Yes. You want a wife who has figure eight. Uh -huh. How many people have figure eight, but they have no morality? Yes. You get it, but they don't have even the heart of a yeah. wife. They don't have a heart of a of, of a mother. Mm. They are just there. They mm. are just there. So it's not it's not just the physical things. You mm. find the reason why these uh, uh, unrealistic expectations have brought a lot of pain and frustration and death mm. and depression. Mm. It is because they are based on the physical things. Mm -hmm. When you base your things on the on the spiritual dimension. Mm -hmm you will find that you have such fulfillment mm -hmm. whether they are done or not whether mm -hmm. they are met or not mm -hmm. you have that inner fulfillment yes so what are we saying i think we need to talk more we need to have a more discussion yeah. with our partner sit down and, and write down mm -hmm. what ex exactly do you expect of me when it comes to finances when it comes to communication when it comes to our sexual life mm -hmm. when it comes to our children when it comes to finances manage everything through talking mm -hmm. when you talk there's nothing difficult mm -hmm. you are able to solve it Wow. Oh, yes. Yes. I would love to say that the society has set for us very wrong standards for expectations mm -hmm. that we look we look for in men and in women. Mm -hmm. Like when you want to describe a high, a high value man, it is all about money. They, they, what society describes as a high value man is an mm -hmm. entrepreneur, mm -hmm. somebody who is employing other guys. <laughs> but a high value person is a person who is focused, mm -hmm. who has a purpose who has a heart for his children, loves his children, can build a generation, has a sense of reason, oh, yes. you are safe around that person, mm. and also is safe around, a, a person who is sane, 
Because we have people who wow. we call high value and mm. they can even flip any time, even beat you or kill you. Mm. And the society has made you believe that ah, he's a high value person, glorifying only money. Yeah. So we need to go back to the ground, uh, uh, the, the roots, mm. the root cause, and, and don't idolize just money and the superficial lifestyle. We go back yes. and see the core values. Who is a human being? Mm -hmm. You can be a high value person, your partner can be a high value person. Unless you are a high value person, you will not see high value person around you, except they have money, they have Ferrari, they gamble and they can ha throw money all over. Mm. So we need to tell our daughters that a high value person is a person who first know God. Yeah. A man who knows God and love God dearly, mom, mm -hmm. that's a high value. Me, that's a contentment for me. Mm. And that's why me, I'm content with my husband. Mm. I thank God for meeting Salano because Salano knows God. He loves our children. He loves me. Any other material thing, God is, we are building together as we work through it. Mm. But wow. God forbid we get all that people look for, mm. then we can't we even, lose ourselves. we lose ourselves or we lack wisdom even to maintain it yeah. or lose the most important thing. So that is my parting shot. A high value person is not money. It is character, his values, his connection with God and mm. themselves. Do you hear young girls saying uh -huh. that the reason why they mm. want a man who is married? Yeah. Most of the young girls want a man who is married because he is mature. Mm. But right. if you look at what they are calling mature, mm. is the finances that this man has. <laughs> oh, Nothing right. else. Yeah. That's the way they grade maturity in a man. So you mm. hear girls saying, Miss Wesi enda na vijana wa rika yangu, me wow. I want a mature man. Mm. But to them maturity is someone who can be able to pay their rent, mm. buy them wigs, buy them muzinga, <laughs> take them outside, drive them with a Range Rover, uh -huh. V8, Brando, all these big cars. That's maturity. That's a mature man. And I keep wondering, this man whom you are calling mature, mm -hmm. who comes in a bed seater, carrying a paper bag, you know, and he climbs the stairs, you know, the flat bringing you a ziri de mature and has left his own home, <laughs> has left his own home, own compound home you know. with a wife and children. You get the point, eh? And he's climbing now, going to a single room to go floor. for the floor. Yes. You climb, go to coming to climb you, and yeah. you are calling him mature. Mm -hmm. I think this man is not mature. Mm -hmm. So maturity is actually a man who fears the Lord, yes. Yes. a man who respects women. Yes. And most, if a, wow. if a man can cheat with you, mm -hmm. he's also a cheater. He can also cheat you again. All if he can right. cheat the wife, he can also cheat. and vice versa. Because even today we are having women who are also cheating their husbands. Mm -hmm. So. When you say that uh, I love mari I love mature women, mm. what do you mean by saying you love mature women? Mm -hmm. This is not a mature person because a mature person should not cheat on the husband. Yes. A, a mature, mature person should not cheat. Yeah. Wonderful. Should not have a side cheat, I a side that. guy. I love this. But now this man who is packing his Range Rover, mm. you know, mm. in a slum and in a very funny place, picking you, and you peeping, know, yeah. and peeping and, 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 and giving you faith. That's mm. a very mature man. Mm. Because mature men cannot live a bungalow, a, a flat they have built, their own home with a compound with everything, yes. and go for a girl who is at the in a single room. No, those that. are immature men. It's only that financially, as you have said, mm. he, he looks to be to be stable. stable. Mm. And I don't know what you call that stable. And mm -hmm. you don't know where he's getting this money. That's why you're finding girls being slaughtered. Yes. You know, ah. in these rooms that they are going to have sex. You have met a man just because he has money. He can be able to pay you everything, a hundred thousand. And you don't know where this money, money is. Kumbe is good looking for someone he can sacrifice mm -hmm. so that he can keep on getting this money. Girls, mm -hmm. you have to be very careful. Yeah. A mature man is not a man who is driving a car. Mm -hmm. It's not a man who can take wow. you outside. It's mm -hmm. not a man who can fuck you. Mm -hmm. No, those things don't no. make sense. Mm -hmm. Please respect yourself. Mm -hmm. A mature man is that man whom you are going to begin life from point zero. Mm -hmm. And you build it, build it up. Mm -hmm. And after some years, you can say, mm -hmm. look at what the Lord has done together mm -hmm. with us. But these men that you are getting in between, they are just mm. out to destroy you. Mm. They will infect you mm. with HIV. They will mm. infect you with, with all the demons that they have carried from mm. other women. Delay you your delay your destiny. Mm. This is not a man, even if you get a child, he can even, mm. you know, deny you. Because he has his own leg legit children. Mm. So, girls be sober. And this idea of feeling desperate. Mm. You are so desperate to have a man. Mm -hmm. And it's being brought just because you saw your peers having them. Mm -hmm. Please, can you stop it? It is not right. Because because we have enough girls who have been slaughtered mm. with the same, 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 you know, uh, issue. 
and we are like, are we not learning our own lesson? Yeah. What do you mean by money? Money is not everything. Do you mm. know how much money it has costed your parents for you to be where you are? Mm. And you go to be slaughtered because of 10K. Mm. You go to be slaughtered because of 100K. Are you worth 100K? No. So can you sober up no. your mind and stop saying mm -hmm. that you want mature men? Mature men, being mature is not money. Mm. Being mature is a man who can go and introduce wow. you to his parents, introduce you to everybody, and, and marry you and even pay a dowry. That's a mature man. Begin from where you are beginning mm. and move on with a vision. Yeah. Marry a man with a vision. Amen. Don't marry a man with money. Well, these people, th that is so challenging. Mm. Heavy points. Mm. Today we found a new definition of what maturity is. Mm. Maturity is not money. Maturity is not having yes, beards yes. yes. or that having financial stability. Yeah. <laughs> maturity is a man who can lead you to Christ. Lead a man who life. can lead you in life. Mm and give you a stable foundation mm -hmm. where you can lay on your life mm -hmm. later on. Mm -hmm. Then I say something about seasons. Seasons come and go. Mm -hmm. Let seasons come, find you and leave you. Mm -hmm. Don't go with the season. Mm -hmm. Don't let Valentine pass with you. Because I have a relationship with mm -hmm. Aisha. So Valentine is here with Aisha. Christmas is here with Christmas also. Christmas goes away with mm -hmm. you. Let seasons come and find you and leave you because the things that come and go, but you always remain there and also uh, build your foundation. You. And then finally, let us have expectations that can be met and that are real, mm -hmm. also in, the, in God's will. Mm -hmm. These ladies were being slaughtered in, in a, a B and B. These ladies are having high expectations mm -hmm. than what they should be having mm -hmm. because you want to be driving and you are still in the campus. Mm -hmm. That's you cannot. You don't have a job, mm -hmm. but you want to drive. You want to live in a flat somewhere in Runda and going to university. Yet you can't afford that. Your parents even home cannot afford that. Mm -hmm. Then you want to play different men. One is paying for you rent. One is planning to buy you a car. When is then you are saying I can't have sex with them. I just want to to play them and mm -hmm. eat their money. That's why a man calls you and kills you because mm -hmm. you've been eating their money. You've been eating their loans, mm -hmm. and then you don't want to give them what they want. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, who is losing? It's you. Your future is going to end mm -hmm. and living point tears. So let us have expectations that are in God's will. That's the most important. Mm -hmm. Expectations that are in God's will. So thank you so much for watching this episode. And I know you have learned so much. If you haven't, as we have learned. Mm -hmm. Until next time, this is Naked and Not Ashamed Show. Sure.